welcome back to the walkthrough. I started back at the entrance because, well, I only went over there first because I kind of needed a do list to fill out the part, and Ishihara was not ready! Still getting over that. <sighs> Calm yourself. Sorry, I didn't didn't mean to yell in your ear or anything like that. But anyway, let's, so we're gonna start over here, I suppose. Hello, this attraction is called Bill's Computer. It's pretty easy to use, but I can explain how it works if you like. Yeah, okay. All right, then I'll explain. You can use Bill's Computer to get new cards. You need a specific card before you can get any others, though. That card is a special promo, Bill's Computer. You'll additionally need 20 chips to perform the trade. Check which card you can trade in and choose your prize carefully. And so ends my explanation of Bill's computer. Try it out. Okay. Oh, oh that's right, I have to talk to the computer. <laughs> Turn on Bill's computer. Alright! You know, you can see, you can trade in a Bill's computer card plus one other for a rare card. Nah, not right now. <laughs> Save that for later. And the other thing over here that you can trade cards for is known as the black box. And you can get a lot of stuff, in this, like a lot of rare promos. Thank you for coming. This game here is called the black box. It's quite a fun machine. You want to know how to use it? Okay. It takes five game chips to use the black box. Five Pokemon cards are then placed into the box. Then the cards transform into different cards, generally of the same evolutionary line that you put in, but you can get promo cards if you put in the right combination of stuff. It's something that I'd like to cover later, because it's a lot to write out and stuff like that. <laughs> you receive your transform cards through the mail. Be sure you have your mailbox space before you play the black box. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to recheck that. If your mailbox is full, you can't receive your cards. It's really quite simple, but if you need another explanation, just ask. Please enjoy yourself while using the black box. Uh, how full is it? Oh. <laughs> All right, that's an instant. Another water leader. Water Pokemon are quick in their room. A water water Pokemon retreats there. They pay one less energy card. Brooks chosen a few water Pokemon with lower retreat costs. She tends to make them retreat if things don't look good. By doing this, she makes it hard to knock out a Pokemon. Strike card when you can. You gotta think it's all rather your Pokemon versus staying in there safely flee. Think hard about it, Ronald Sternface. <laughs> Anyway, and, you know, I got some interesting intel. I mean, intel, <laughs> not interesting. I just got some intel regarding the GR Fire's leader Bernard. He surrounds himself with hot lava. Because of that, fire Pokemon in, in his room do not have a weakness to water. In other words, his fire Pokemon have no weakness whatsoever. What's more, his deck is themed around fire type Pokemon cards. <laughs> Who would have guessed? That means he doesn't have to worry about weakness at all. Fighting him certainly won't be a walk in the park. Think hard about strategy when you build your deck commence. And no deck diagnosis four is out. Apparently released a new version of my deck diagnostics. <laughs> I can't read today. Deck diagnosis service. Once you connect, choose step four. For some pointers on how to balance your deck. It's important to consider your deck thoroughly before each duel. Perhaps we'll get some tips that'll improve your odds of winning! Dr. Mason's Research Lab, happy face! <laughs> you can see that after every one just because I gotta clean out the room again! Uh, hope you're well. I have some information about Team Geo's Electric Leader, Catherine. She's the ruler called Thunder Charger, powers of Electric Leader. Yeah, you know about that already! <laughs> You can let your Pokemon attacks do 10 damage, do 20 damage, Speedball, Voltorb. Catherine's attacks use many electric Pokemon, including Pikachu, Voltorb, Dark Jolteon, and Dark Raichu. They make your own deck of electric Pokemon and turn over powers. How well you do is up to you, and what strategy you use, Stern Face. <laughs> I'm proud to announce that you finally finished our work on Auto Deck Machine 2. Wait, that title does not match. This machine has the capability to utilize the new Pokemon cards Team GR uses. Stop by the laboratory sometime if you'd like to assemble or study the decks that can be made from Team GR's cards. Happy face! Here's a present to bide you over until you complete the third iteration of our machine! Lost Style Booster Pack! Yay! Kinda. Yep. <laughs> 
most pretty much duplicates, I think, I do believe. Read. Uh, I've collected some Vinny 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 Parker during battles against Missim. Grass Pokemon are immune to poison, sleep paralysis, and confusion. Also got some tips on the deck he uses. Grass scene, of course. The deck uses two dark Pokemon cards, Gloom and Vileplume. Both these Pokemon have power that attacks that deal with confusion. Some attacks Parker uses normally confuse the user, but since they are grass-type Pokemon, the confusion is ignored. Dun 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 dun. We won't be an easy adversary. You gotta nip Dark Gloom in the bud somehow before it evolves in the Dark Vile Plume. Or, you know, just use Fire Pokemon and sleep. But I'm <laughs> just saying, I think Ronald's missing a kind of a important aspect of things. Dr. Mason, deck DLC program, step 3 options, strategy with energy types, last advice I can give about basic deck building, uh, uh, except I got your number 4 uh, uh, later on, happy face. <laughs> okay, there you go, now, now you're talking. <laughs> and read, are you checking your mail? <laughs> no! <laughs> I got some intel about GR number four. Her deck uses water and psychic like Pokemon. Got... Oh, so they are catching up on the older emails first. Okay, that's good. So we aren't missing anything. Uh, water and psychic like Pokemon. She's got pure power with her Kingler's double edged claw. I've got to go talk to Marie from the Psychic Club somehow so you can give me tips on how to ward off her evil spirits. <laughs> Alright, so I presume that the next time I turn on the game, I'll get more mail then? Probably it'll be filled to the brim again, but it's good to know that I didn't miss anything in that regard. Anyway, now let's go over to the games, I suppose. There's nothing like coin toss combo to get my heart racing too fast. Maybe, maybe I should play something slower paced. It's not that fast, it's, you just, you, you choose when to flip the coin. Hello, this table is for our coin toss combo game. How many times can you get heads before the tails ruins your streak? If you can get 10 heads in a row, you win a Mew level 8 card. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it's the lily pad Mew, by the way. Uh, I thought it costs one chip to play a game of a coin toss combo. Doesn't it sound like fun? Would you like to play? Sure. Come play coin toss combo! Woo! Wait. D uh, I'm here. Anyway, alright! It's using my coin! E. Oh. <laughs> alright, heads! Oh. G come on! <laughs> what bad luck! If you would've got at least three heads, you'd've won a prize. Yeah, if you get three heads, you win 20 coins, but... <laughs> that was abysmal! <laughs> oh, 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 the coins are glitching up again! I mean, I mean the Aidens! Uh, wait, what if I say no? Please come again, okay. Um, 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 uh, yes. I will pay one yeans. There we go. Oh, chips now. <laughs> uh, oh! 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 <laughs> oh, shoot, I didn't mean to. Like, that's what I did the other time. Dang it! Mother of Arceus, okay. <laughs> oh, come on! Yes! Can I at least get a 20 out of this? That's why I said good luck. Oops, I clicked through it again. That's why I said good luck with that 10 flip for the level 8. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Come on. No! <laughs> I gotta watch not to mash the button. <laughs> really? <laughs> not to mash the button. Man, it's just like everything is against me. But I wanna get heads. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 wait, wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Neat! You got three heads in a row. You've won 20 chips! Congratulations! Yay! So... Generally, I'd say that you will win more than you'll lose on this. But... Maybe not with my luck. I'll, I'll play it a couple more times just to see what I can get out of this. Just for the kicks, I suppose. And... Oh. oh, can I get, uh oh, uh oh, oh, <laughs> uh, 
Alright, 40 chips this time! That was kind of on the rare side for me. <laughs> I don't know if it would be faster to get coins to here, or if it would be faster to wipe them... wipe, wipe out the chess masters, <laughs> in all honesty. I mean, it, it probably would be faster here, just based on how quick you can win out of this. Oh, 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 oh! Oh. Man, that Mew is just so far off. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, right, very nice. Good start. Good start. Oh man, I'm getting those heads now. Oh, I'm getting those heads now. Oh. <laughs> that, that's actually... Very strange for me. Maybe, maybe it's not as 50-50 uh, as I thought. Like, maybe it's preset what you get. Oh, man. <laughs> Who knows? Who, oh. Come on! <laughs> really? Nope, nope, nope. It seems 50-50. We're, we're back to where we were before. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on, we can. Oh man! Oh, oh man! Oh! This can't. Oh, oh! I was gonna say this can't be. I couldn't possibly get this on camera. I got 500 chips out of that. <laughs> well, that was certainly faster than battling the the chess masters in general. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, he... Oh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh! The, I, I will probably never get that streak again in the history of ever. <laughs> Come on. Mm -mm. Yeah, so it's, it's all luck based, basically. So, best of luck getting that Mew. Alright, so I think I'll I think I'll finish up here and head on over to the next room. See, there's there's other games in here. It's so pointless. I'll never win. I'm giving up whenever completing the guard dungeon. Here's a tip: energy removal, super energy removal. Put them in. <laughs> All right, so we got some slotty slotties. Hello, how are you today? Want to play with the slot machines? These machines are clarified just to play per game. Would you like me to explain how to play? Okay. Both of our slot machines play exactly the same way. Oh. <laughs> After paying your chips, pull the arm to start the game. Match these symbols on the wheels and you'll score some chips. If you get three rainbow imagery symbols, you'll get to play the bonus stage. You can get booster packs with that. Match these symbols in the bonus stage, you win a present pack. How about it? It's quite simple. Give it a try. What about you? Don't bother me, kid! Can't you see I'm playing the slots? Okay, Rosie O'Donnell, calm down. You need to match up energy symbols and want to win some chips. If you really want, three rainbow energy symbols for a bonus game. I'd like to play too? Why don't you get some chips? Uh, I'm always gifted 10 chips, so it's kind of a given that everyone has chips in here. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to work. See, I'm from GR Castle. Ever since your victory, though, all work there has been cancelled. I don't have anything better to do, so I'm buying my time with the slots. <laughs> just, just destroying the castle. <laughs> I should say the people at the castle, he's like, I'm, I'm out of work. Good afternoon. These are our famous slot machines. Close your eyes, pull the arm, and test your luck. Each game costs only one chip. One of you out of play. Yes, not terribly difficult, but always play as best I can. You win chips in the lineup, do you just aim it in? Aim it in a bonus game. Oh, that, yeah, I think this is the same dialogue as the other side. So what if I say no? Why not give it a try? It's only one chip per game? Uh, no. I'm sure you've heard it 1,000 times before. Ready? Good luck! Okay. So, yeah, it, I guess the machines, you know, they cost less on this side than the other one. But anyway, let's play one. <laughs> Alright! We're in! That's the rainbow right there in the middle. And... And we don't really have any, like, control over the reels or anything like that. They just kind of stop when they stop. 
and they do what they do, so... <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 I'm pressing buttons, but they don't stop when I press the buttons, like I, on the uh, main series games, so alas, alas, we cannot manipulate our pulls. And maybe I'll go over to the fives. Oh, 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 oh! Mm. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to the fives! <laughs> and just watch me lose all my coins rapidly. <sighs> Lightning fu- oh. I've already lost. <laughs> just like the actual slot machines, you can end up putting a lot of coins in there just by pulling the lever without thought of what the poop you're putting in there. So, don't gamble, kids. Don't gamble, kids. Oh, 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 the suspense. The suspense! Oh. Oh. That was pathetic. <laughs> Better with the coin toss in terms of getting coinages. I mean, I guess I could get the rainbow. E eventually. But it, in, in theory, well, I'm gonna really want that. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta match along. Oh, oh! Gotta match along that middle line there. But, uh, I, I guess your real prize here is not so much the chips as it is the booster packs. Assuming you can even get th three rainbow out of this. I may never get a rainbow, just like I may never get that mule. <laughs> Ten head flips in a row. That is just insanity. Insanity. Oh, well, the suspense is gonna happen. The suspense. Oh. I'm still losing them. <laughs> I do believe I am. <laughs> oh. Oh man, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get that rainbow anytime soon. So, and, and I've, I gotta win the bonus game with the rainbow to actually get something out of that to boot, so... <laughs> so it's like, eh. eh. Oh, 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 oh! 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 I actually got it. Alright, ten chances to win. Let's see what I can get out of this. Oh. At least give me one, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, give me the bag of loot. Oh, yeah! I didn't even think I'd get that. <laughs> I was expecting I would just not get the rainbow at all. In general. And we're back to the main place, so that is how the game rolls. Uh, but yeah, as you see, that I, I think the other ones are the ones that give you the booster packs, if I recall correctly, those symbols and stuff like that. Uh, but now you may have seen that there was a Moltres on that uh, on that reel there. Well, uh, I did a little something off camera and got myself a couple of those Moltres that I need here. <laughs> Jai up, uh-huh, choose all your opponent's Pokemon, flip the tails to get tails, discard a water energy card. So it's a anti-water card for a fire deck. It's kinda kinda interesting in that regard. And a fire wing, very expensive for uh, 50 there, if you think about it. <laughs> a lot of things do 50 for 3. You know, like Dugong, Charmeleon, although Charmeleon I guess has a discard. So yeah, I mean even Gyarados has got the. But anyway, I got that. I, 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 I got that Moltres, and I, I think you know what's gonna what's gonna happen with that Moltres. Oh, and I should also show you if you try to leave without putting your coins at the counter. Excuse me, could you come here? You still have chips, correct? I'm sorry, but the game center requires all chips to be kept here. Please leave your chips with us before you leave. Talk with the receptionist on the left. Manage your chip record. So I'll probably gather chips off camera for the prizes and coins and stuff like that and then buy them on camera. But anyway, I'd like to leave all those chips there. You can get that back a little bit later on if you would like. And we are off to one of Ishihara's houses. I don't know which one he's going to be at. Probably this one. Ah, 
Good afternoon, Matt. You enjoying my Pokemon cards? Currently researching cards of the legendary flying Pokemon! Ultras level 37, look at what I've got! In exchange for one, I'm willing to part with my Surfing Pikachu card. Alternate artwork. <laughs> do you have a Moltres? Yes, I do! What if I say no, though? Uh, okay. It's basically the same thing. Thank you very much! Let's trade immediately! And thus, we have surfed! With Pikachu! Woo! Surf for 30. So it's a lightning Pokemon that uses water energy and thus is splashable in water attacks as a little surprise for the opponents. Like one summer, a group of Pikachu was found riding waves at a local beach. <laughs> I wholeheartedly thank you for trading me this Moltres level 37. This is the first card of a legendary Pokemon I've gotten. Really? Aren't you like the super card collector guy? Really, thank you so much. I'll record this in my journal. Hello, Mint. Welcome to my house. Not looking for cards, free real books. Yep, ba da ba da. Uh, you gonna disappear? Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm looking to duel him. I looked up, and there is indeed four trades. So I'm gonna do here. Save in a different spot. And we're, you know, we're gonna do the dance. <laughs> you know this dance. <laughs> we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get there. Oops, no, not that, not that. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do enough dances and we're gonna get a duel with him one of these days. I am, uh, Andrew Kuno level 34. I got one of those. Oh, maybe I did. Aurora Veil. Yeah, I, I do have that, but I mean, uh, I thought that... Yeah, that's the alternate artwork, so I thought... Yeah, I thought I already did three trades with him, and that was number four. Huh. Anyway, this is different than the last one I had traded to you. Yeah, it's the alternate artwork. I, in fact, I actually mentioned the alternate artwork first, but I, I mentioned before that they have multiple artworks in the the sidebar thingies. Anyway, let's trade for that. I got, I think I got a bunch of those Articuno in general. There we go. It's a surfing Pikachu without the mountain backdrop. Yeah. Same uh, dialogue at the bottom and everything. <laughs> so, my thanks to you for trading me this Articuno level 34. This makes two cards of a legendary Pokemon I've collected. Really, thank you so much. I record this in my journal. <laughs> <laughs> that means he wants his Zapdos next, right? Right. 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 Slow, look at me hitting that reset button. <laughs> I wonder what I was thinking of when I when he did three trades. Uh, oh, maybe I was thinking of the first game. Or maybe he does like three separate trades over at the other island and a bunch here, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, close finishing last Aptos level 40. One with the thunderstorm attack. Another offering another flying Pikachu card. Oh, <laughs> this one has a different illustration than other flying Pikachu cards. Uh, expendable Zapdos? No. See, it's too bad. Perhaps we can trade later. Maybe I should have read that properly. <laughs> that was kind of a different, good different uh, amount of dialogue there. I probably need to complete my collection of cards. Wait, my collection of card of legendary flying po- I'm glad I read that more carefully. <laughs> my, my collection of card of legendary flying Pokemon. Last card I need to accomplish this is a Zapdos level 40 card. Next return, I'm offering a rare flying Pikachu card. This particular game a different version. Really sure I haven't even had an extra Zapdos level 40. You can trade me. Yes, I'm very thankful for your consideration and enthusiasm. However, it seems that you don't have it all. And I got one! Good afternoon, men. Level 40, Flying Pikachu. Yes, so thank you very much. Let's trade immediately. Got that Flying Pikachu like a pro. Woo! <sighs> Please tell me you're done with these trades. But learning how to fly, Pikachu overcame its weakness to ground-type Pokémon. Thank you ever so much for this Aptos level 40 card. Now my collection of legendary flying Pokémon cards is complete. Really, thank you so much. I'll record this in my journal. Uh, no. 
Alright, so... Guess I'll go... The save over here. You know how things go... By now here, another reset game mode. Uh -huh. Watch, deleted all the save file. <laughs> oh, wait, I did it again. Uh, there we go. And is he still here? He should be here. Uh, card Bill's computer. Seems that you can't use it in card battles. If you're interested in it, I could use a Dark Dragonite level 33 card. I got a ton of those. There we go. I'll just cheat immediately. I got a Bill's computer. Woo! That's what it one looks like. It's just there, and it's not really a trainer card. Everybody <laughs> starts at a Bill's computer game at the GR Game Center, along with a copy of any of the following cards in a level: Ammonite Haunter, Macho Graveler, or Cadabra. You have both cards, and you get a special pro show card through the mail in return. As for details at the Game Center, you're gonna do this card in place. <laughs> yeah, so we, we kind of went through that before. That's why I was reading it fast. Thank you very much for this Dark Dragonite level 33 card. I believe I've finally collected all the cards I've been looking for. You have my utmost gratitude for helping me accomplish this. I can finally battle others as well as trade cards now. Woo! Wait, did you say battle others? Did you say battle others? Hello, man. Welcome to my house. Uh huh. Any time for three of our books? Uh... Mm, really? You're still... You're just screwing with me now, aren't you? He <laughs> said battle with others. I wanted to do the duelist part, dang it. He better do that duelist part, dang it. <laughs> oh, he's at the other houses. <laughs> it's endless! It's endless hoop walking. Or jumping through hoops. <laughs> it's like I can't escape the Ishihara loop. I can't. <laughs> oh jeez. All right. Lisa looks like we're finally on track to getting that duel, though. I, I hope. So does that mean he doesn't duel me at? The other house, like I thought, or and if Newman, you join your Pokemon cards. Return from doing your some quick investigations. I'm still a little bit busy currently. Please come back later. Okay. So that tells me <laughs> I got to do the Savoru back over here and just go flop back on. Well, you know, I'll save over at the other island if he's gonna just keep switching places like that and whatever, you know. So yeah, I, I, I thought he battled me at the other island. So, there we go. And turn that Game Boy on and off again. <laughs> like trying to fix a printer. <laughs> Part of the reason why I also want to do this just all in one part with this whole Ishihara thing is because of the... Great, of course not. It's because of <laughs> it's because of the uh, sake of organization and all like that. So I don't know, it just doesn't seem like he's letting me. I swear. <laughs> Unless I'm really supposed to wait in real time, which I suppose is possible. Or maybe I'm supposed to do some duel off on the side to advance whatever trigger it is that will advance the trigger. <laughs> I'll go check her over here again anyway. Yeah, it seems like uh, when he's over here, his music is playing. Uh, hmm. Oh, he's not here this time. Okay. Alright, does this mean we can finally finish the longest side quest in Pokemon trading card game history with a duel? I hope so! <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm losing my mind with this! Losing! My mind- OH YES! YES! This is what I was looking for! <laughs> Good afternoon, man. Are you enjoying your Pokemon cards? Thanks to you, I've collected all the cards I've waited at last. 
I mean, I've, I've won it at last. I'm, I'm I've totally lost it. Thus, I no longer need to trade anymore. Now I can use my cards to have some exciting battles. What do you say, Mint? Would you like to battle me? No. Is that so? Oh, that's a bit of a letdown. Perhaps we can have a battle next time. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I really, really do. I'm having a great time challenging different players. The more I battle, the more I get to understand all the game's cards. What do you say, Mint? Would you like to duel me? Yes. Yes! Thank you very much, Mint. I hope our battle is most enjoyable. If you would oblige, we shall play with six prize cards. The Ultra Rare Card Deck! Just as I said that he would have. And he's got his signature music to boots. Let's go! I said, let's go! <laughs> so hopefully, this will go smoothly. And yeah, Lapis is a good start. Alright, we flip, we get heads, we go first. So there's a rare cool Porygon, rare Kangaskhan, rare Meryl, yeah, that's what I meant about his cards being, I mean, of his deck being quite a rare variety here. But it's not super mega threatening or anything like that, it's just more of a showcase, I guess you could call it, more than anything. So, yeah. Oh, Star You. Oh, it's pretty nice to see. I think I'm gonna go... Try and get an energy removal for that cool Porygon so that 3D attack doesn't uh, hurt my Lapras. You know, some sort of energy removal would be nice, so... Here we go. <laughs> I'm dumping the Pokémon Trader. Wait, actually, maybe I should've used that to get a basic, but... Uh, well, too late now. Oh, that, that works. <laughs> yeah, I figured I would get some sort of energy removal. Because I got six of them in my deck, so <laughs> makes sense. It's a, probabilities are kind of in my favor in that in that regard. So I got a promo Electabuzz hanging out as well. I'll give you that rundown of that one. Like slap does nothing. Pot smash. So yeah, if you don't recognize it, it's the same Farfetch but with an alternate artwork. <laughs> don't really want to use that card. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, let's finish off the cool Porygon. And call it a turn. Wiggly is for me. Kangaskhan is out. And Jigglypuff as well. Oh no. It's gonna make me shuffle. That'll actually, actually work in my favor. I shouldn't say oh no. Because who knows what what prizes I can get out of the deck there. And Dizzy Bunch. How dizzy is it? Eh, slightly dizzy, I guess. I mean, I mean, <laughs> um, I probably should focus on the Jigglypuff now that I have it, you know, to go for the Wigglytuff. I'll energy remove like Kangaskhan, and I guess I'll go for the Confusory this time to really mess him up. And thus I did <laughs> get it with that nice head flip there. It's like after all that trouble, the game is finally having mercy on me. <laughs> and the slightly dizzy, but not too dizzy. We're okay. Uh, yeah, that's gonna go on the bench. Gotta prepare for the wave after all. Actually, I might as well do that. Just to give it more HP in general. Don't really have a Dragonair to... Yeah, I mean, I don't have Dratini to Dragonair, excuse me. So, man, eh, eh, we're okay anyway. Not that big of a deal. We have our Lapras. It did 22 itself. And you know what I could do is just finish off the Kangaskhan outright with the Lapras thusly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you thought I was gonna misclick? Oh, no, 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 no. I faked you out there. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't show this Jigglypuff before. Well, I mean, I did in the original uh, TCG game here. And it's got first aid. You can maybe remove a damage counter. So it can be used as a bit of a stall. But that double edge, that's a pretty powerful little attack there. Sort of, kind of, in a way, for basic Pokemon, you know? <laughs> I would still go Hitmonchan over that Jigglypuff, but it is kind of a interesting surprise and perhaps even a compliment to Wigglytuff. If you want to give that a shot, but, you know, 
I, I haven't gotten to that point of being able to get one in my collection anyways. <laughs> That's Water Gun. The Jigglypuff. And I think he's gonna have to live with a KO unless he's gonna do, decide to switch or something like that. Got the Ultra Rare Magikarp with the Dragon Rage Promonus. Oh wait, um... I was just thinking here who I should... Probably go Seal because I'm already powering up the Staryu. And Water Gun. Yeah, I'm not confused raying the Jigglypuff because... It, I'm not that concerned about it doing the double edge at that point. It's kind of... Yeah, it's, it's pretty far away energy-wise. Can it get ahead? It cannot, so that means the leak slap does nothing, even though it looked like it did some sort of slap there. Cannot ever stop the animation. Alright, this water gun. <laughs> That's right, I use all my energy cards in my hand, but that is alright. I've got plenty of critters waiting in the wings. Energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm mainly aiming for a dugong, which I may go for a trader, but I don't want to do that right away because I might not be able to attack then if I evolve it right away anyway, so I just want to see how things turn out in that regard. And Meryl? It's got nothing, because it requires the twos, remember? Uh, wait. Uh, wait, Seal, I, I... I think Seal can actually use that, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna trade Jigglypuff. Or the Dugong. Dugong, gong, gong, gong. And it goes in there, and remember, double colorless energy. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, water gun for now. They'll probably do a little bit of scratch damage to Lapras with the Meryl, but it should be okay. Or not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as I said, his deck is not that powerful, it's just, just rare cards, just to play around with things, I suppose you could say. I'll save that. As I said, I can't attack, so... Water gun! <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not gonna choose to confuse the I'm not faking you out. I mean, I tried to fake you out, but I'm just... <laughs> so I did fake you out, but I mean, I'm not actually gonna misclick here. And draw a card for the cards! I mean, <laughs> draw a card for the heads. Wow, that's a awfully impressive draw streak you got there. Um, you know what I could do with this Meowth? You know what I could do is... <laughs> or, you know, one of these two will win the game for me. I, I guess I might as well, because I, I showed his deck pretty thoroughly. So I guess I'll just Aurora Beam for the victory, and call it a day. <laughs> Woohoo! Happy days! Indeed, man, it seems that I have lost the match. However, it was a truly fun battle. Here, take this as your prize. Lost style booster back. What do we get? Polyrath. Mega Punch, Hydro Pump, kind of decent for Rain Dance, I guess you could say in a way, but I, I think I would do just use the Blastoise, so, you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, oh wait, did I show you this version of Golem before? It's very fighting energy specific. So it's like Seismic Tosses on uh, the Machamp, but it can also self-destruct. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think maybe I did show this one before. Hmm. Lickitung, my nemesis. And a Lost Isle! Ooh, Mach! Ooh! All Pokemon powers other than toxic gases stop working! So you can use that to lock down the opponent nicely. Or yourself if you misplay it. <laughs> and it can cause poison with the sludge. But I don't think you'll be attacking with Mach per se, as you'll be more keeping it on the bench for the sake of locking down the Pokemon powers. There's another Golem. Alright. Please use the cards you just received to make a new deck. I'll be more than happy to challenge your new creation too. In any case, Mint, you're welcome to return anytime. Not right now! With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part till we do some more island exploring. And collecting more cards, of course.